Hello, third graders, and welcome to session 10 of our narrative writing unit. Session 10 is all about developing the heart of a story. So today's title says, Storytellers Develop the Heart of a Story. Good writing is clear thinking made visible. So scholars, first let's talk about what is the heart of the story. The heart of the story is the most important part of your story. So if you are writing about how you and your cousin made a beautiful fish out of clay, that would be the heart of your story. You would tell us how the clay felt in your hands, what it smelled like, what you were seeing when you were at your cousin's house sitting at her kitchen table, what you were feeling on the inside. So today we're going to revise, to really develop that heart of the story. What is revising? Did you know that revising is something great? It helps you focus on the heart of your story. Scholars, revising means taking something that you've already written and rewriting it to make it even better. So really, we've been revising the entire unit already. So you guys are kind of already revising masters. But today, we're really going to focus on revising the hearts of our stories. Today, we are going to learn that revising is not correcting. Revising is adding to the heart of our story. So like I said, we're going to rewrite what we've already written, but we're going to write it better, keeping in mind all of the things that we've learned about narrative writing so far. Let's go over our anchor chart. Obviously, we have learned a lot about writing. Today is all about revising, so let's get into it. What's nice about our anchor chart is that it reminds us of all the things that our story should include. And it gives us ideas of what maybe we should add to the heart of our story. Oh my goodness, this is a lot. So here is our anchor chart. This is all the stuff that we've learned already through sessions one through nine. Scholars, to write a true story, you need to find story ideas that are focused and important to you, and then you need to write lots of entries. I think we can put a check mark by that one. We kind of already got it, all right? And then you need to make a mental movie of what happened, telling it in small detail, bit by bit. So like when you're watching a movie, you need to tell your, show your readers what they should be seeing in your writing. You need to detail the actions and include dialogue. And remember, dialogue means people talking. So you all have characters in your stories. Make sure that you're telling your audience what they're saying in your story. All right, we need to make sure that we remember our self-assessment of our narrative writing and our goals. You guys all have a checklist. Make sure that you're using that checklist to see, hey, what am I doing? What am I starting to do? What have I not yet done? You need to rehearse for your writing by storytelling the story repeatedly. So after you've done your mental movie, you need to tell someone your story and tell someone else your story and tell someone else your story until you have story told, told that story so many times that it's in you and you know what's going to happen next. You know what you're feeling, what you're seeing, what you're smelling. Awesome. Do you remember? Another thing that you need to do is you need to try different leads. So the starts of the story. Did you start your story with action? Dialogue? Make sure that you're choosing an exciting beginning. And then after you've done all those things, you need to write a flash draft. Writing fast and furious. Eyes on the mental movie. Pen or pencil. Hopefully pencil. We'll just say only pencil. Pencil on the paper, eyes on the movie, pencil on the paper, pencil on the paper. All right, friends, let's look at these amazing examples of, it's not working. Let's look at these amazing examples of 
third grade writing. I'm going to read this story and ask you what you think the heart of the story is. Okay. OMG. Pause. Do you notice that she started with dialogue? That's a great way to start a story. OMG. I was about to paint the beautiful freshness of it. I loved it. I knew my mom would be impressed. This thought made me go, hooray, in my mind. I put my mind back on the shell. Scholars, she also tells us what she's thinking. Love it. I had never found such a beautiful, precious shell before. I had no time to waste. I threw myself on the dry sand and uncovered my precious shell covered with sand. I ran through the hot, sticky sand and went to show my mom and dad. However, I was so frustrated that my mom nor dad was fascinated or amused. I gave them a look of, why aren't you amused, look on my face. I walked away and showed off my beautiful shell to my brother. Yes, I thought. My brother was so amused that he asked me, how did you find such good shells? Where do you find them? Of course, it's obvious. I found them in the sea, I replied. But how? I find them by crouching and crawling on the sand of the sea. I showed him. All right, scholars. So let's talk about what her heart of the story is. Now, what is her story mostly about? It's mostly about this amazing shell that he or she found. Look, I would say the heart of the story is right around here. I had never found such a beautiful, precious shell before. She uses words like beautiful, precious. I had no time to waste. I threw myself on the dry sand. So there's action. There's adjectives. There's more action. Uncovered my precious shell covered with sand. More action. I ran through the hot, sticky sand, more adjectives, and went to show my mom and dad. I think that is for the heart of her story, and I think she did a really great job developing it. She added actions. She added adjectives. She added descriptive words. Bravo. All right. Now let's go over to this one. Now, of course, there are some pointers we can give on this piece of work, right? She could do a little bit better job paragraphing, using transition words, things like that. Um, this uh, gentleman here needs to make sure that he's writing all the way up to the red margin line. But he has an amazing story, so let's read this one next. Two weeks, two weeks. I thought as I back through, as I back through the back window of the car, it was my first year at sleepaway camp, and I was driving to the bus stop in White Plains. Scholars, awesome. He tells us where he is. He starts with his thoughts. That's an interesting way to start your story. Is it scary? I asked my mom slash dad. Maybe the first day, they said. But after that, it's a blast. The car stopped and I saw a sign saying, Camp Echo, out the window. The butterflies in my stomach's wings batted even harder at me. Mom and Dad stepped out of the car. Don't worry, said Mom. It'll be great. You'll be fine, said Dad. You'll have so much fun. We'll miss you way more than you'll miss us, they both said. I got my sticker saying, Noah gets bus one bunk B42. I gave mom and dad a hug and talked some more. Finally, I had to say goodbye, mom, goodbye, dad, and step onto the bus. Brr, as I heard the rumble of the bus's engine start, I gulped. I was on my way to camp. So scholars, this is all about um, this uh, student named Noah's trip to sleepaway camp. I think the heart of the story is when the car stopped. And 
and he saw the sign for Camp Echo. So he's telling us what he's seeing out the window, and what he's feeling. The butterflies in my stomach's wings batted even harder as me, mom, and dad stepped out of the car. Love it. So he's telling us how he's feeling, what he's seeing. Think about those things when you, as you're developing the heart of your story. All right, so go and find your writer's notebook and continue doing revisions. Remember to use what we have learned to make our story awesome. I am looking forward to seeing your revisions. Add details, action, and pretend like you are describing a movie word for word. Go ahead and pause this sign as you uh, work on your story so you can remember um, to have focused ideas, making a mental movie, self-assess, rehearse, try different leads, and then write a flash draft or just work on the heart of your story. All right, my friends, that is writing session 10. I can't wait to hear about the hearts of your story.